guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the DIY bin. But first, let's look and see how the bait is going. Alright, so this is what I did last time, is I put everything in this tray here and put some bait in this little cup here. So let's see what we have. Get the little tray here. Flip it upside down. Let's see what we got. So that worked out pretty well. Although I can tell you that not all of them have moved over. Um, certainly some, an interesting good amount has moved over. So I'm just going to kind of take the food, it's been a little over, I don't know, 10 days. So I will move the bait stuff over to the cup again and keep at it. And these will go in the new DIY bin. Okay, so we'll release them when we do the feeding. So last time we remade this upper layer entirely with new food and new bedding and items that had not been frozen. So I don't expect to see a lot of uh, progress. Looks like the pineapple is doing something, but you can tell the turnip, which is slow food as opposed to fast food, um, isn't doing much. So as we kind of work through it, flipping everything around, it honestly looks like they've done more with the bedding than they have with the, the food. No pretty worm ball on this level. Um, of course, this did not have any worms on this level at all. Um, if you remember, I harvested the two lower layers and put the upper layer on the lower layers. So whatever worms are up here right now have moved in from the layers below. All right, well, <clears throat> nothing terribly interesting happening there. Let's look and see what the bottom layers are doing. All right, so we had taken the upper layer and split it between the bottom and the middle layer, and then we fed the center here some stinky stuff. So let's see what they did. Well, uh, the turnip and stuff that was not frozen is even trying to grow. But as far as the other food that had been in the freezer, it looks like they've gone through quite a bit of it. So I'm happy with their progress. Um, remembering what this layer looked like when we <clears throat> put it on here, it has made a great deal of progress. So. Like I said, it's very interesting how these lower levels that are very thin, but uh, they do tend to go faster. I don't know if it's the ratio of worms or just that they're completely undisturbed. It's hard to say. All right, next layer down. Same story. This came from the top originally, and we did not give it any extra food. So you can tell that even though this was exactly the same as the, the layer above 10 days ago, it does look further along. The towel continues to deteriorate here. Maybe I can put an inset into the video about um, what it looked like when I put it in here two weeks ago. Not quite two weeks ago. So the... No exciting worm ball, but definitely a lot of progress in here. 
they are doing a good job. Put the towel down again here. Kind of look and see. So yeah, it's degrading all the way across, so that's good. Put this middle layer back on, and then I think I'm going to feed the top layer this time and put the um, captured worms on the top layer. So I think I'm just going to make a little nest here in the middle. Let's see, Put some of the old stuff in the bottom there. The stuff I'm putting in today is just a mixture of kitchen scraps that have been frozen. So I imagine they'll probably go before we see this turnip um, and pineapple go. Alrighty. So a mixture of bananas and beets. Avocado, kiwi. Get that off of there before I forget. Okay, so I'm going to cover that up and then we will release the worms. So it's not a pound, but it's probably, I don't know, half pound, three quarters of a pound. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, how much worms, how many worms, or what volume of worms do you think we accomplished? Um, but it's the, the combination of the red worms and the blue worms and the European night crawlers. So they'll have plenty of food here to mess with, and we'll probably get the ones coming up from the bottom. And next time we come in to feed, then we will also have uh, more things that came out of the, ba the bait. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what, you're, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.